Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide, Mohamed Niaz with you. In this video, you are going to see how to configure connection filter in an exchange online protection. In the previous video, I give you an introduction to exchange online protection and how exchange online protection works. So connection filter was the first block that we saw when we explain about exchange online protection. So we will begin with the how to configure connection filter. We will see how to configure it from the admin center and also from the PowerShell. Before we start our topic, I would like to introduce you to the new courses that are available in Udemy MS100 cover all the topics that comes in MS100 identity and services in Office 365 and also learn Microsoft Exchange uh, Server from beginner to master which covers all the topic that you need to become an Exchange Server master including the uh, single deployment of Exchange, uh, hybrid configuration, database availability group and migration from one exchange server to other exchange server and you will also see one form below in the description where you can fill up your recommendation uh, for new topics from IT Pro Guide. So let's begin our topic connection filter. What is a connection filter in an exchange online protection? A connection filter offers you the ability to configure the uh, source of email address as good or bad using the IP allow list and IP block list and in addition to that you have one turn on safe list from Microsoft that is managed by Microsoft the only option you have is to enable or disable it and Microsoft have subscription with the third party providers and based upon the uh, reputation of the IP address the emails comes from those IP addresses will be defined as good or bad so that part will be uh, taken care of by Microsoft the only option you have is to just enable or disable it anyway the IP allow list and IP block list are the two options you have so in a, any IP address that you configured in IP allow list will be skipped from all the spam filter and that will be delivered directly to the inbox of the user and IP block list is where you can configure the bad source e emails that you expect so any emails that come from this block list source that will be rejected when it reaches to the connection filter as you know that the other filters come after the connection filter in an exchange online protection those emails will not undergo any further filtering so when you configure IP allow list it doesn't mean that all the emails from those sources will be delivered directly to the inbox of the user without any kind of uh, filtering. So what will happen when you receive an email from a source that listed in the IP allow list? It will not go for any anti-spam filtering and also there will be no sender authentication verification like SPF or uh, DKIM but it will go for malware and anti phishing filter so it doesn't guarantee that the emails will be delivered to the user in it is based upon the other filters action on your email so i hope you got a clear idea about what is a connection filter so we are going to begin the configuration of connection filter we will see how to configure it from the uh, admin center from the web uh, browser and also we will see how to configure it using powershell the first thing that I'm going to show you is from where you can configure exchange online protection features. For that, log into the admin center, Microsoft 365 admin center, and from there expand the show all option and that will show you all the admin centers. From there, click on the exchange option that will take you to the new exchange admin center. And in the new exchange admin center you will not see any options to configure your exchange online protection features so we have to go to the classic exchange admin center that is the first choice available to configure exchange online protection so click on the classic exchange admin center that will take you to the old exchange admin center from the classic exchange admin center now you can see protection where the exchange online protection features are listed in, from the malware filter to DKIM. So either you can click on the features here or you can click the protection option from the left side of the exchange admin center. So you can see that the objective of this video is to configure the connection filter and that is what we can see now. So you can edit here and add the configuration and in the new exchange admin center you will not see any options to configure the exchange online protection related features. So we have to go back to the Microsoft 365 admin center. 
then from there you will see security and compliance in the admin centers so let's click on the security admin centers and that will take us to the office 365 security and compliance admin center now office 365 security and compliance admin center you will see threat management expand the threat management there you will see policy click on the policy that will show you the policies templated policies rules related to the threat policies so this is where you configure the anti-spam and malware configurations from the anti-spam inside the anti-spam you will see connection filter policy so this is where you have to configure the connection filter policy so a connection filter contains two options ip allow list ip block list and safe list option so we saw from the old exchange admin center and also the new exchange admin center where you can configure the connection filter policy so now expand the connection filter policy then click on the edit policy so you have two options here from the first ip allow list you can see some of the ip address i have added already so now if you want to add a new ip address to the allow list you can simply enter the ip address or if you want to add a range you can add a range also and for the block list also click on the block list option then enter the ip address you want to block so these are the two options available to enter the ip address and make it allow or block and the third option we already discussed that is turn on safe list so here you can turn on the safe list option also so we saw the options comes in connection filter policy you can simply click on the save button that will save this and now you can see that we have create policy option create an outbound policy option but we don't have an option to create a policy for connection filter so which means that you cannot create a new connection filter policy the only option you have is to edit the existing default policy which is always on which is applicable to the entire tenant so once you click on the edit policy you can simply add new ips to the allow list or block list and you can turn on the safe list so these are the three options that are available in an exchange online protection in connection filter now let's log into the classic exchange admin center and see how you can configure it so i already show you like how to access the uh, classic exchange admin center so if you are familiar with the classic exchange admin center and new to the new exchange admin center you can still continue to use the classic exchange admin center until it is available so you can see from the protection tab you will get connection filter and click on the edit button that will show you ip allow list and ip block list and enable safe list so the three options that we saw in the new exchange admin center is available also here and you can see a small notification on top of this window that says that the connection filter as a new home that is what we saw office 365 security and compliance so the filter experience the connection filter experience is already available in the new uh, security and compliance center so you can configure it from there instead of configuring from the exchange admin center so now we are moving to the next part of the video that is how to connect and configure connection filter from the powershell for that open powershell you run it as an administrator so the first step we are going to do is to connect to the exchange online protection from powershell and for that you have to import module exchange online management the error we received is because we didn't install exchange online management so let's do that first so i have set the execution policy remote signed then i will install the exchange online management module so confirm the confirm the action and the installation in progress now 
now we can import module exchange online management and let us connect to the exchange online protection now for that use connect exchange online then the global administrator username as i have multi-factor authentication i have to enter the password and also complete the mfa requirement so now we are connected to exchange online management to test our connectivity we can run a general command powershell command to exchange online protection that is get host at connection filter policy so that displays you the details of filter configuration you can see the ip allow list and ip block list so if you want to overwrite the ip allow list and ip block list you can use this command set hosted connection filter then identity is default as i told you you cannot create a custom connection filter policy then enter the ip allow list and ip block list so this will overwrite the configuration so whatever you have in your ip allow list will be removed and you will have this ip address values into your connection filter after you update the list you can verify using the get hosted connection filter policy command and that will display you the ip allow list and block list so from here you can verify it now if you want to amend the ip allow list and block list then instead of running the first command that i show you you can run this command with allow list add so this will help you to amend the list instead of replacing the entire old values you can keep the old value and also the new values will be added to the list so now after i run the command i verified it with the get hosted connection filter policy command and that displayed me all the changes in ip allow list and block list so that is all thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe my youtube channel you will find a form below in the description where you can fill up uh, to request uh, some new topics that you are interested and also you will see a link to the courses that are available in udemy for ms100 office 365 identity and services and also learn microsoft exchange from beginner to master cover the topics related to single deployment of exchange uh, hybrid configuration a migration of exchange server and also database availability group like that topics so that is all thank you